you guys doing out there? This is Madam X at Frequency Real Radio, and I thank you guys for tuning in this month. I've got your cards laid for your love and relationships reading, and I'm ready to go. Um, I know I'm late coming to you in a month, so no long introductions. I've got the cards shuffled and laid so we can hop right into it. Uh, the decks I'm using, I'm using uh, Tarot, the Tarot, the Complete Kit, uh, the Doreen Virtue Romance Oracle Cards, and a uh, Past Lifetime Deck. Just to kind of tie everything in, and a Past Lifetime Deck is just to help with any blockages or things maybe from a past lifetimes that may be hindering or hurting or blocking your current love relationships. So coming into the month, um, well not coming into the month because we're in the middle of the month, we're past the middle of the month, we're about to, well we're at the middle of the month, October's a little long and we're about to go into no November. It is hot as hell in my house, I need to tie my hair up guys, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm really hot and I got candles burning. What the hell, that's the only thing about the fall weather, I love the weather but it's so cold in the morning on the east coast and then it's like, I don't know, was it? 90 degrees <laughs> I'm joking I'm exaggerating but it had to be like 70 or something it was hot anyway so I, I feel strongly Virgo with your reading in October at this time in October so the title on this video is going to be your October reading but as I always say these readings transcend time I can pick things out from readings I've received months ago that are transpiring now or things I heard and I didn't know how it was coming into play and things came into fruition. So because it's the middle of October, don't let that, you know, feel like, oh, this is late. October is gone. No, these energies are going to pick up. If you watched it now and it came out now, this is when you were meant to see it. And this is when the energies are going to be um, relevant and they're going to be relevant going forward and going into November. And only you'll know how these play out in your life. And if you hear something that doesn't sound familiar or is not resonating with you you want to check your moon and your rising as well but i believe um if you if you're virgo sun and you got some virgo going on it, it will resonate with you so let's get straight to it anyway virgo this month i feel like well right now and going forward as we go into as we close out october in the middle of october and get into november i really feel a strong connection to the past so um working through some you know, finally getting to a new place where you can love again, where you're ready for relationships, Virgo, where you're really ready to be in serious, committed relationships, regardless of what you've been through. Um, you may have been through some hard times. You may have been through some rough times in your past relationships, which has not allowed you to really let your guard down, to be, to be playful and enjoy love. When we go through hurts and we go through pains, and I, I can speak from experience, I can speak from, you know, things I'm going through in my own situations. You know, I'm a relationship person. That's why I do these love readings. And um, I, I do general re readings now, but I'm probably may, I am probably going to phase them out and really focus on love and sex because um, I, I'm just relationship oriented, have been in relationships for a long time uh, in my life. And it really is the core foundation for um, how we make it through this world, the support we need to make it through this world. You know, the love that you get from your family, the love that you get from your partners. I mean, I really do believe men and women need each other. And Virgo, you may have been through some things that have hardened you. So you may have not really wanted to give people a chance. Or, you know, Virgos, you pick things apart. You're very analytical. Somebody who's stepping up to your plate, they really have to come correct. That You know, the uniform got to be together, shined up, neat. They got to know their plays. They got to know how to play ball. And they got to be ranked in the top <laughs> ten, five, the top three in the nation you know what I'm saying so you may have been extra hard on people because of things that you've been through Virgo but I feel like now a lot of the good things from the past you may even notice that you have some some someone from the past turning back up in your life and if this isn't because you had the six of the six of cups I'm sorry you have, it's not the Six of Cups on the table, it's actually the Four of Cups, but you have the past life relationship card on the table. So when I say um, someone returning, this doesn't have to be in this present dimension, in this present lifetime. It could be someone from a previous lifetime. So if you've met um, people recently, or if you met someone, or you, and you're like, oh, this person really feels familiar, it's kind of like you know the person. That's because a lot of people that you come across in your daily experience, and those people that are in your life that play prominent roles, 
you do have um, soul connections with past like lifetime connections with. So uh, with the Four of Cups, that's like I was saying. You guys are coming from something where you feel like there's just been some losses. It's like your cup's half full, your cup's half empty. But I, I believe that Four of Cups, you're ready to look at um, what's on the table and realize there is um, some joy to be had when it comes to love. It is time for you to love again. And that's the card you got as well. It is safe for you to love. So um, you come into a place where all that hard work, all the things that you've been through, you want to stop just thinking about it and you want to... Um, experience it. You know what I mean? You guys are very stable. You are of the earth suit, the Taurus, the Tauruses, the Virgos, and the Capricorns. So you guys are stable. A lot of times when it's, when it comes to material realm, that is your realm. So when it comes to the career, homes, property, cars, um, just things that, nice things, um, dressing nice or having nice items, comfortable homes. The things that make you comfortable, that's where you guys' passion has really been. And that's where it always is. But it's also time for love. Like I said, going through hurt and past relationships, you really were just um, focusing on your work and being stable. And that could have been something that hurt the past relationships, Virgo. Um, when you look... When you when you realize that you that you're having a hard time opening up to to a new relationship or you're having a hard time loving again, we really have to do the work on self to see well what part did we play in the relationships failures or in the things that we've been through. So and that's something I can definitely understand. Um, I've been doing a lot of self work. When you come out of relationships, um, a lot of times we lose ourselves in um another person or or, or deals or things you got caught up with in the issues of the relationship. So you really have to take time to get to know yourself, what you can contributed to those situations and then what do you want out of your future love relationship and what are you going to do different to bring about different results so I feel like um Virgo in the past just really working hard not having a lot of time for play because you got the eight of pentacles in reverse um it, it really may have contributed to the failure of the relationships or um you know, not really um, seeing eye to eye with your partner and maybe having some financial stability. But if you don't have love, then then sometimes those things, um, they can't keep you warm at night. They can't keep you warm at night. And I know, you know, your work is very important. I know the stability is very important. But, um, you know, you got to find those balances for the relationships, especially love relationships, because it takes a lot to maintain. And it's about time and attention and all of those things. So, um, Virgo, as you close out October, as you're meeting people and as you find people to say, OK, these are possibilities. These are these are people I actually this is a person I actually could have feelings for. I could actually want to take things in a deeper um, direction then um, you really want to uh, make sure you're giving to that what you want to get from it. You're showing it the attention. You're showing it the time, and you're showing it it the um the care that you need to really build something else with someone else, and it being safe for you to show um okay that you had feelings for that person. That person can in turn show it to you without feeling that um you are distanced or or you're too um critical or they can't come to you or you're too hard to approach. Or um, not really not making a safe haven for them to express their love or to come to you. So Virgo, just opening yourself up to be able to um, spend more time and really start to put some of that effort less in work and more in your love relationships that probably will really benefit you coming to the end of October and co going into November. And um, as you do that, you may have some choices and some decisions to make. There may be some issues or some things going on in your life with air signs. The Geminis, the Aquarius, and the Libras. Maybe this is a person um, in your life and the relationship that's not quite right. That may may have a part in you being closed off in the future relationships. Maybe some decisions um, and some things that happen in those relationships because the king of swords, um, upright, an honest person, um, very tactful, great advice, knows how to advise in a practical manner, but still um, can be intact with his emotion and um, sort of that balance between the mental and emotion. No, the swords isn't a heavy emotional card, but the king of swords knows how to balance that emotional uh, emotion. He is not 
an emotional character, but he does have emotion. So with that King of Swords being in reverse, I feel like this might not have been you. This might have been an energy that was going on um, even right now or maybe with some past things that you were dealing with as you try to get back to this place to love. But um, if this is going on right now, maybe you have some air signs in your life that there's some conflict with or there's just some things going on where you feel like somebody isn't being upright, isn't being um, honest, and it's kind of causing you to have to make some decisions when it comes to love and romance. But what you want to remember is um, handling things in a... Um, mano y mano or handling things in sort of that hard cutthroat because the king of swords can be cutthroat as well i mean they're not going to dwell in the emotional realm they're going to get right to it but with the king of swords in reverse maybe he isn't quite um using his best logical factors letting emotion kind of get a the best of him a little bit and um, not really making wise choices and decisions when it comes to the love life or this could be the energy um, that's in your life e either through you or through another person that you're dealing with but uh, don't make any I see that you're going to be uh, you, you have decisions what do you want to do do you want to pursue these love relationships with, which feel like past life relationships or do you want to be a hardened warrior who um, just really doesn't make it a safe haven to bring in those loving relationships, to bring in those people who could offer that to you. It's time to open up, Virgo. It's time to let that back into your life and don't make any decisions that are going to only end, end up leaving you um, by yourself in the end or out in the cold or feeling like some sort of victim um, because of bad choices and bad decisions that were made. Just kind of um, know that it is safe for you to love. You don't have to be hard. You don't have to look at things from such a um, subjective viewpoint. Be objective or whichever way that goes. Don't look at it as just your viewpoint. Realize um, a relationship is 50-50. There, there are other perspectives that you have to see. Yes, Virgo, you're very analytical, but um, sometimes being too analytical and too in the mind can cause you to make the wrong decision. You have to feel. You have to um, use the emotions, but also realize you do not want to be too e overly emotional either. It is a balance, and that is what the King of Swords and with the Two of Swords upright. They both came in reverse, but um, right they represent a balance good decision making good choice making so maybe in the past virgo um and what you're faced with it's just not good decision making not good choice making so think about that and reflect on that if you really are ready to open yourself up to this playfulness and this love that's coming in and it really being a safe environment and you bringing in a person or people that it is safe to love again it's safe to express that love because you have a, a deeper connection that really stems from a past life and um someone you've known before before, people you've known from before, relationships that feel uh, familiar. So just kind of take it slow through um, the end of October, Virgo. Um, really, really focus on yourself and what you want to bring in and realize that if, if you what you want is love, that that is coming to you. And then the past life card I had, and I'm going to look in the book for it, but I'm going to look in the, I'm going to read your description from the book, but I've already kind of tied in some, one, uh, some of what I was saying about it. You got this Celtic uh, cross in um the past life deck so that could mean that you are a person of um affiliation a person of standing when it comes to tradition uh the ways of the church uh knowing uh organizations um brotherhoods fraternities that kind of thing that's what this the celtic sort of represents and it also represents to me when i when i see the celtic and i see the cross it represents like an armor almost like a a, a that cross of the warrior spirit too is if, if you can think when soldiers go to fight or when people go into battle they carry their crosses or they might have them in their pockets or under their armor or something like that so it really um feels like a virgo going forward and f because of your past life a lot of the things that um you incorporate into your relationships really are steeped in tradition tra steeped in order but there may be a block there may be something so deep there that it leaves a partner out it does not let a partner in you seem like a person or you seem like people who were really really steeped in a um tradition and a um a foundation that may have really taken you away from relationships and that's why I say I see in the cards that that could have played a part that may be the issues you need to work through the time and attention that you pay to those relationships and um really really realizing if you're ready 
for one because being with someone else, it is a 50-50 cohesive effort. And you do have to have the time to the, the time to um, give to a relationship or it will not work. It will not work. So um, let's see what the Celtic represents in the actual book from the John Holland. I mean, not is this John Holland? No, this is um, Doreen Virtue and Brian Weiss past life deck. So Celtic. You drew this card because you had a significant past lifetime in Celtic lands, and you continue to feel bonded to this culture. But had, perhaps you lived in or visited the Isles of Ireland, Scotland, Wales, or England. If so, you may have a sense of deja vu and be an Anglophile, a person who adores these cultures. You're also fascinated with Stonehenge and King Arthur's Camelot. You may have learned the old religion of the Celtic lands, which involved the use of healing herbs and gaining wisdom from oak, oak trees. You could even be an ancient druid in disguise. Your connection to the elemental realm has made you love fairies, elves, and all fae. You also respect and love trees, especially oaks and willows. If you haven't already done so, schedule some visits to the ancient sacred areas of the United Kingdom in Ireland. Exploring their stone circles, castles, spiritual artifact, and spiritual artifacts may trigger additional healing memories. And Virgo, that's what I'm saying. You guys coming into this um, experience, coming into this life sign as the um, sign of service, um, service to the people, service to the universe, service to um, the fellow mankind, um, and being very analytical. You're steeped in um, that, that um, order order in certain traditions and these these knowledge this knowledge and this wisdom of um ancient religion ancient healing practices and things like that so you i feel like you may have been or you may be even in this lifetime a very important person affiliated with different circles which may have not have left a lot of time for a relationship you could have been a roaming nomad you could have been um you know, moving from place to place, a uh, healing or bringing messages of the higher realms or of um, ancient religions or in practice of that. So anything from that kind of culture or from those kind of lands, as you heard from the book, and I've never read the description from this book, never. Um, I So what I gave you, of course, tied into that before we even hit the book description. I go to the book if um, I feel like I need just need extra because it's not something I may be consciously aware of, but of course I give it to you from my subconscious before we ever check a book so i feel like that really ties into um what's going on with you virgo and how to help you realize look into the self see who you are and see how any blockages or past life things and behaviors that cause your um behavior that cause your relationship styles or how you are in relationships to be rigid or very finite or or un, even un, unaccepting maybe because you're so used to um, doing things in a certain way, culture, um, religion, and um, just following order and being really um, methodical about the things you do. But, you know, all this fan, love, and war and relationships, um, it, it's really hard to outline them in chalk. Things happen. We take it day by day. You can't predict and you can't analyze your relationship to death. So, Virgo, I hope this helped you this month, and I hope it really brings you to a place of um, bringing in that partner who is really going to understand you, really going to be there for you, and, um, help, and, and you watching a love relationship blossom and grow. Have a wonderful, wonderful um, October, Virgo, and um, have a wonderful rest of the year. I will talk to you guys next month. I'll be back for the love and sex readings and things of that nature. And I thank you so much, much for tuning in to Frequency Real Radio. If you're interested in a personal reading, just um, see my email in the description box below. Email me, tell me what you want. I'll send you a PayPal link and we'll get started from there. Thank you guys. Much love. Peace.